Merhaba YouTube, Falsa Yenizon kanalına hoş geldiniz. Ben İsa, seviye kaldığımız yerden devam ediyoruz. Bir önceki iki bölümde biliyorsunuz katili bulamamıştık. Bu bölümde umarım bulabiliriz. Bulamazsak bir kere daha dinleyeceğiz zaten. Onları bulamazsak artık finalimizi yaparız. Neyse, iyi seyirler başlayalım. Evet. You need to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family, like I did. <laughs> well, you didn't shake them off too well. One of them's trying to kill you. Okay, you got you got a point there. Don't answer it. Come on, Abby, ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. Anca şey ipucu bulmadığımız yerdeki seçenekleri tam tersi yapacağım. See? Was that so hard? That felt weird. You know your mom gave me a big pitch at the meeting. Told me that I should be selling my share to the rest of the family. I told her dad left me the business and they would get my share only when they pried it from my cold dead hands. I just kind of thought they'd wait a few years. <laughs> they would they would never. You don't know that, Abby. Look, I've been having a lot of research done recently for my autobiography. Neymiş kandımız? Bu zaten şey yapmış. She's behaving very oddly at the meeting, you know, all night checking her phone up and down to the window. I I, I don't know what she was looking for or who And this family has got secrets, believe me. I wouldn't put anything past them. Sıratlıyorum, zaten biliyorduk. Hey, anne, anne, mahallenin Marcus Dayman yasaklarını satın almasını istemiş. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. First, and then we can all just fuck off to bed. Neyse, konuşacağız. Hiya, Auntie June. I uh, haven't seen you for a while. How have you been? Remarkable. Of all the conversational starters in the English language, that's the one you plump for. It's riveting. Oh, sorry. I, I was going to ask about... You know what you're like? Nothing. Kadın öyle hatırını sordu. Kadın şey kapadı anasını zaten. Ne yaptık? Ne yapsaydık? Uh, that was a disaster. I've had worse conversations with June. When I was 12, <gülüyor> she <gülüyor> cut up my shoelaces with a pair of scissors in front of me. And I was just sitting there thinking, I hope she... Everything. I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. <gülüyor> June started it. It is. It will be some sort of bizarre vegetation, won't it? Is it trendy to eat a hedge now? Yeah, I haven't got a clue either. I, you're right, I, I don't know how she expects us to know these. <laughs> Shall we just guess? You can think of something. Sure, uh, Hunter's chicken? She likes that. Recycled. You're literally wearing someone else's rubbish. Disgusting. So green pieces, as in a piece of pie. How else would you spell it? Loads of people are doing it. Loads of people aren't in this family, Abby. Just pick an answer. Okay. Shit, no one in real life does maths without a calculator. <gülüyor> um, I've got one on my <gülüyor> phone <gülüyor> somewhere. <gülüyor> I think it's 20. Fine. Your mom's pretty tricky to talk to, but you did good, kid. I also have some new... Oh, <gülüyor> news that could really help. Geçelim bak iki tane olmuşum, bir tane bulamamışım. Ya signal's not great here guys. Notiyi kimse notiyi geçtik. Guard her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was probably just. Oh, nice one, babe. Thanks, babe. Oh my god, you missed a mad one the other night. Sorry. Don't apologize to me, babe. <gülüyor> apologize to your skin. Oh, yeah, will do. Thanks. What was Uncle Marcus like at the meeting? Honestly? 
pretty hostile. Really? Yeah, he's just got that vibe, you know, like he just thinks everyone is out to get him. Oh, okay. Right, I'm starting my next piece now, whether you're ready or not. When I was a kid, I just like listened to it over and over and over. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've got an app on my phone, babe. It's recognizing all the songs for us. No. Burada da bir tane bulabilirim şimdi. Okay. Is if you never speak to me ever again. Oh, thank goodness. I've got a clever one on my team. You're the clever one, Nan. Don't be. Did he say eight miles? Well, why don't they just catch the bus? The school must run one. I've got no idea. What Shall I just do a thumbs up? Will that help? We're just discussing the kidnapped boy. Okay, Abby, please. Please. Emily, that would never fucking lie to you. I just don't know what to believe. Bir kere daha deniyoruz eğer yine olmazsa bu sefer bitiririz. Değişik bir oyun yapmışlar ya. Diğer oynadığınız interaktif oyunlara göre farklı yani. You need to. Don't answer it. Cevap vermeyeceğiz. Come on. Your mom. First, and then we can all just fuck off to bed. Uh, no, I was just, I was just oh, saying. Matt, uh, well, thank for a thing. I mean, you're talking to us like we. Star's chair, or a sex toy, uh, getting us into giving her praise and compliments. I do honestly. Put that down. Well, I was going to say fourteen. Yes, well, you're not exactly Carol Vorderman, are you? I'm sorry, but the answer is definitely fourteen. Speaking with your auntie June is like trying to charm a rattlesnake. <laughs> but I think we got some you. Yeah, signal's not good. Oh. Uh, guard her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. Oh, nice one. Sorry. Don't apologize to me, babe. Apologize. So, um, do you remember any. When I was a kid, I just like listened to it over and over and over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally. Okay, listen up, guys. Is if you never speak to me ever again. Is, is that empathy? Snatches away. Oh, well, uh, look at ask a question to be an actual question, a normal, proper question. You're so right about Toby. He is so arrogant. Abby, please. Family that would never fucking lie to you. Ah, I just have lost my mind. I am. I always play nicely. Bradley, we play. Mum still talks about it. She still thinks she can smell it. She's had like eight cars since then. I was three years old. I mean, it's pretty obvious if you take like a millionth of a second to think about it. Yeah. I'll answer the question, but then we need to. I need you to pick one. It's okay, Abby. Palium. Whatever happens. Seçenek az. Daha önceki de palium seçmiş olmamıştı. Just choose. Please. It's thallium. If you say so, kid. Bunu kurtulması lazım çünkü bir öncekinde yerini seçmişti, onda ölmüştü. Chin chin. Uncle Marcus.
Well, where the hell have you? Neyse arkadaşlar da böyle değişik bir seriydi. Ya da ne yapsak katil olan kadar devam etsek anlamadım. Çok değişik bir oyun yapmışlar ya. Ve bir kere daha bir hak daha veriyorum. Ve en kötü ne yaparım? Bu bölüm sonlandır bir sonraki bölüm için internetten yardım olur. Katili öğrenirim. Sonra bu bölümde de işte öğren şey yaparım ona göre hareket eder. Katili bulur öyle final yaparız. Don't answer it. Your mom's on the first, and then we can all just fuck off. To... He's like that. I'm like, calm down, take a seat, keep your wig on. So why was everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. It is. It will be some sort of bizarre vegetation, won't it? Actually, I think I know. Loads of people are doing it. Loads of people aren't in this family, Abby. Just pick an answer. Okay. No one in real life does maths without a calculator. Um, I've got one on my phone somewhere. Is it 12? Your mom's pretty tricky to talk to. Her guard, her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was probably. Well, nice one. Sorry. Don't apologize to me, babe. Apologize to. So um. When I was a kid, I just like listened to it over and over. Oh yeah. Is <laughs> if you never speak to me ever again. Is, is that empathy? It's not just a way. How will uh, just ask a question to be? Mum, if it was a Abby, please. Family that would never fucking lie. I am. I always play nicely. You can't even zone your mama. Best or something. Wait, no. Was that with a quad bike? Nan, I, I need you to tell me every. I, I tried my best. Ha, kanat bulduk. Ne, ne bulmuşum? Oo, bak bak, bu da baya bir şey buldum. Belli mi? Just thinking about your auntie June. Has your mother ever told you about what she did when she was at university? That same night, June offered to cook them all a meal. She cut up tiny bits of raw chicken and mix them in. She gave them all such bad food poisoning that one girl nearly died. When they told June she could have killed someone, all she said was, yes, that was the point. Bradley being Bradley as usual. Wonder what he'd lost. He's like really excited to show me these two poisons. <laughs> he said <laughs> they were <laughs> extremely deadly and like super illegal. Holy shit. Your mother asked us all to get to the house early before your uncle Marcus got there. She told us, how did she put it? She wanted him out of the way. She was asking us all there to see if we'd support her in a move to take over the company. And do you think Auntie June could ever hurt someone? I mean, seriously hurt someone. Now, please, if, the, if there's something that you're not telling me, if you saw something at the meeting... I didn't see anything at the meeting, but... But what? I, I'm just thinking about your Auntie June. Has your mother ever told you about what she did when she was at university? No. One day, she came home early 
and overheard the girl she was living with was making fun of her in the kitchen. That same night, June offered to cook them all a meal. She cut up tiny bits of raw chicken and mixed them in. Well, she gave them all such bad food poisoning that one girl nearly died. When they told June she could have killed someone, all she said was, yes, that was the point. Thankfully, the girls never pressed charges. And Just Please. Abby, where have you been? Oh, she's doing it for attention. Be quiet, Ju Marcus, the kim zehirledi? The kim zehirledi? Evet. Auntie June. Unless you're going to tell me, I can carry on with my round. I don't want to know. Yeah, but I wish to know. What am I doing in here? I know it was you. You killed Uncle Marcus. You poisoned him at the meeting. <coughs> oh, my God. <coughs> oh. Oh, well, that's been coming, I must say. Was that the guilt? What? Did the guilt make you do that? No, it was the wine. What have I got to be guilty about? I just told you before you threw up. You, you killed Uncle Marcus. You poisoned him at the meeting, and I'm not going to let you get away with it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Marcus is dead. <laughs> well. Well, I can't say I'm going to miss him. <laughs> you <laughs> killed him. Oh, fucking hell, Abigail. What do you think I am? I mean, look at me. I'm a mess. I can barely keep track of what day it is, let alone plan an intricate poisoning. Christ, especially at the meeting. God, I was off my face. Look, I'm not surprised someone's had a go at the old prick, but it wasn't me. I'm sorry. No, you'd love to ruin me like this. What? Oh, you hate me. I terrify you. I, I'm, I'm the product of what this family can do to you, how it can destroy you. But you know what? <laughs> Ama bununla ilgili bilgi öğrenmek istiyoruz. Ama kimden öğreneceğiz ki onu anlıyoruz ki. It's exactly why I hate you. You still got a job. <gülüyor> evet. Ne oldu bitti. Neyse. Katili yine bulamak büyük ihtimal. Bir sonraki bölüm internetten ben bakarım mı oldu arkadaşlar. Katilin kim olduğunu öğrenir ona göre devam ederiz. Bir sonraki bölümde final yaparız. Videoyu beğendiyseniz ben bu yolda atmayı abone olmayı unutmayın. Sonraki final bölümde görüşürüz. Kendinize iyi bakın. Hoşçakalın.